tutorial on web development with Python. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. Uh, just to reiterate on what I had talked in the previous video, uh, if you want a one-on-one -on -one session with me uh, over a video call to discuss about how to learn Python, uh, how to go into resume writing, how to write a good resume, a good cover letter and also prepare for internships and placements, uh, you can uh, contact me with the email in the description and we can set up a call. Now let's get into the video. In the previous video we talked about CRUD operations or create, update, delete operations and we started that by creating a workout or how to create and display all the workouts. In this video we'll talk about the other two operations which is update and delete, how to update a particular workout or delete the workout. So these uh, three operations create, update, delete form the basis of web 2.0 where a user can interact with the website to change operations or delete content on the website. So let's get started. Let's just see where we had left in the previous video. So we were here where we were logged in with test if I'm right. Yeah, we had all the workouts. Uh, let's add another one. So I didn't do any push-ups today, but let's just say I did 10. I'll do 10 later and I'll just do this later. So this is not how it should be, but well, yeah, and this got added. You can again uh, change or sort by dates in the database, etc. etc. So that's up to you. Uh, in this video, we talk about edit and delete functionalities here. So we have the buttons, but they have nothing as you can see here. And let's get into it. So, first, uh, let's close our server. And now we go to the main.py uh, page where we had all our uh, features ready. And now let's make the update function. So now we have to update uh, our workouts, right? So we have to update each of our workouts. So we need a way to access each workout uniquely or a way to have a unique ID for each workout. So that is what we did in our uh, DB, in our models.py, where each workout has a very uh, primary key uh, or a unique ID. So this is how we're going to access our workouts and then update them. So let's see how we do that. So first have a main dot route and I'm going to fill this later for now. Actually, uh, we'll talk about what's going to happen here. Uh, this is going to be a login required function because we need to be logged in for that and update workout. And there's going to be something here as well, but yeah. So now what is going to happen here? So first we want to access each workout and the URL for that should be uh, generated uh, automatically uh, by the workout ID. So if I want to update the first workout, so it should be workout slash one slash update. If I want to update the workout number 100 or the ID 100, it should be workout slash 100 slash update. So we want to have that URL be generated automatically. So this is how we can do it in Flask. So we have workout. Now uh, the workout ID is an integer. So this is the syntax. So int, we have a colon and what is the variable name going to be? So let's say workout ID. And how does this, how do we get this? So we'll talk about this later. And slash update. And now the methods are going to be uh, get and post. So usually I used to make two different uh, functions right for get and post but today we're going to do both of them in the same one to see how it works because we haven't done that yet so now uh, this workout our ID how does the URL get it so it gets it from the function parameter so workout ID and this is how uh, this is passed to this using the flask and now first thing we need to get our workout right we need to get our workout which we have so workout equal to uh, workout dot uh, query dot get or 404 so now we access this workout using the workout ID uh, so we have the workout ID here in the parameter so now once we have the workout uh, we send this to the get request of the template so uh, let's see how we do this so we just do return and render template 
and we're, we're going to make a page update workout.html so update workout.html and pass in our parameter which is workout equal to workout now here we have uh, just shown you the workout id and uh, update workout page we haven't uh, received any updating information so which is going to be the post request where the user sends in the uh, information which we want so if request dot method is equal to post so if the user has passed in some information uh, we need to get them back so we are going to write that logic a bit later but first focus on the update workout or html page so let's go there templates uh, let's make a new file update workout dot html and let me just get the code for that right now and we're good to go so here again simple straightforward code for html we have our block content we have the flash messages we'll talk about in a different video so just bear with me there we have a form so we have to talk about this now so we'll talk about this in a minute a simple form with uh, you can update your push-ups and comment and it says update workout so here what we're doing is uh, when we make a post request we want the user to go back to update workout uh, we want the user to go back to update workout but also pass in the workout.id so we have the workout which we got it from here and we want to pass the workout id to the post so inside here so once we pass the workout id we can then uh, extract the workout and make the changes in the database so now once the user clicks on submit you go to update workout post uh, send workout id here and now let's see how this works so now all we have to do here is workout dot pushups is equal to request dot form push up so let's extra take the push ups which you updated and the same for the comment and yeah now we have this we have our workouts here so we have added that to our workout object and all we have to do is db dot session dot commit and the workout has been updated and let's just give us through a flash message so i'll talk about this in the next video for sure so your workout has been updated and now uh, we want the user we want to send the user back to our all workout list right so let's do that right now we'll turn the user back to user workouts which is here slash all so what did we just do so we were able to extract the workout uh, go to update workout.html uh, using the workout id for that specific workout and once we do that we go to update workout we fill in the information then we send a post request with the workout id for that specific workout object and we take the push-ups and comments and save them inside their own uh, attributes and commit and the workout has been updated so let's see this in working hopefully we haven't done anything uh, different uh, which should throw an error uh, oh yeah uh, we have to update the base my bad my bad so give me a second let's find our base for update workout so add new workout uh, everything is good here nothing such so we just have update workout right oh my bad so it's in all workouts yeah edit so we go to all workouts and now we need the url for edit so again the url is going to be what we have made so update workout workout id is going to be workout.id so get the current workout id and throw that for the url and yeah we're going to talk about delete in a bit but let's see workout updation for now yep all good uh, go to all workouts and now 
as you can see uh, down in the bottom left it's pretty small but you can see by the id edit workout one two and three so let's see the one which i like so you go to edit workout has been added so just forget the flash uh, and now we have to update the workout so uh, 12 and this is a true statement now and we click on update workout and here you go the up down update so workout has been updated we can do it for this similarly so okay uh, i think i made a mistake somewhere here this should not be showing it here but we'll fix that later uh flash is just another video as i said again so let's do 100 and too much great workout and uh, here you go so we were able to update our workouts directly and now we need to focus on deleting workouts so this is going to be pretty straightforward nothing complicated no html pages all we have to do is delete the workout so let's see how that works again uh, each of it is going to be each workout has to have its own id to be deleted so workout uh, slash delete get in post uh, we just have a get we don't need post but uh, i just copy pasted it so def delete workout again you need a workout id and now get the workout so we need to get the workout from here by the id got the workout now this is a simple db dot session dot delete and workout so we delete the workout object db dot session dot comment we always comment our changes and we're good to go we have deleted our workout and all we have to do is redirect the user again to all the workouts so the same thing we get the user by get the workout by the workout id we delete it from the database we commit and then we return the user back and let's see this in action my bad yep we're good to go again we missed the html page my bad i'm really sorry uh, we need to go to all workouts so let's go to all workouts again and fix our uh, hrfs so give me a second let me just get this directly on delete so yeah so again main dot delete workout workout id to workout id and yeah we're good to go now so flask run and let's see so all workouts so let's just delete the one which we have 100 workouts 100 push-ups right so just click on delete and here you go it has been deleted so let's delete another one and another one and we have no push-ups so let's do everything from scratch okay so we are logged in we have seen how that works good account we have a test user i new workout i'm um, sorry about this i have to change this in the next video push-ups we did 10 uh first workout add workout and here we go edit again let's say 10 first edited workout update workout and we have updated it and we delete it so yeah so we have built our uh, web app where we can have user authentication using flask login and also we have uh, created all the different operations so let's go back to how did we do it so to create it a simple post request we where we take all the information from the user create a workout object add the workout object to our database and commit simple pretty much nothing complicated and then we just show all the user workouts uh, how do we show the workout so we show it using internet templating where for all the workouts and workouts let me show it to you right now so we send workouts and user so for all workouts we show the push-ups date posted and comment going to delete or update we update the workout by its workout id so we get the user workout by the workout id then once we get the information we change the push-up and comment attributes or variables commit them to the database and show it back 
For deleting, we just delete the object, which we get by the workout ID and commit. So yeah, pretty straightforward, pretty direct. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, what was Flash all about and how to work with it properly this time. And also how we can actually deploy our web app uh, on the internet using Heroku. So yeah, thank you for watching.